All right, so obviously the first thing you want to do is put the hard top on the ground somewhere. Um, I like to use Scotch Brite, um, roughen the, roughen it up a little bit, you know, get it nice and gritty so the, uh, so the paint will adhere to it. Um, you know, do it everywhere you can, not just, not just the places you see. There's a nice oxidation layer on there, and it gets pretty nasty. Um, lots of, lots of gunk on there. It's pretty gross. Uh, anyways, let's uh, move to a time lapse. Alright, now you're just going to rinse her off, let her dry. We'll come back and put some isopropyl alcohol on it. You go to your uh, local Dutch Bros and get a nice iced beverage <laughs> on a warm Eureka day. That was a wrench. Now that you have your Dutch Bros, just start taping around all the windows. I like to get real up in the creases here. Keep it all nice and tight so you don't have to do that much uh, touch up when you're done. Anyways, I'm gonna set you guys down and keep on going. So, uh, usually what you do in this situation is you cut out a piece of paper roughly this size, stick it on there, tape it on. Uh, but a roll of paper was like 13 bucks. And I already had like three rolls of tape, so I figured I'd just tape the whole thing. Uh, it's probably the more expensive route in the long run. Uh, we just didn't want to spend 13 bucks on a roll of paper. Anyways. Alright, yeah, so here we have one finished side. You can see I got pretty good up in the corners there. Nothing too special, but yeah, like I said, just cover the whole thing in tape um, rather than paper. Nate, let's check out your side. Sweet. So over here, what we're going to do, it's a little different way of doing it. Uh, we're going to take a razor blade up in the top. And we're going to follow this line um, all the way around and stuff the edge back in. It'll create the same effect on the other side. This way is actually probably... A little easier and a little less time consuming so let's get to that ride that edge all the way along awesome so um, one thing when you're doing this, uh, we didn't really check because we just washed it. There was some water left in this gasket here and it kind of ruined some of the tape on the bottom. Uh, so we're just going to go over that. But for the most part, we cleaned up all the edge here and got it all nice and flush in there, just covering the gasket, uh, nothing else. So the side's pretty much good to go. It's got to fix that one little bit here. And now we're going to move this back window. Alright, so when you're taming up the windshield here, you're going to need to uh, take the windshield wiper off. But to do that, all you do is find this guy here and you just pop it right like that. Should just need two hands. I don't know. I can hold the camera for you. Oh, there it is. Can you? Yeah. Show me. So, you don't want to bend that guy up. So you just do that, and then it should wiggle itself right off. There we go. Easy, <laughs> easy peasy. <laughs> Oh, 
Sweet. So there's the rear window. Got them all finished up now. Looks like we're about ready for paint. And it does look like it stopped uh, raining on this fine Eureka day. Anyways, time for a base coat. Actually, first, we're gonna clean it off with some uh, general purpose adhesive cleaner. Okay, now that everything's sitting pretty here and we're ready to start painting, just gonna give her a shake for about a minute and then uh, do the first base coat. And uh, we're going for more of a matte look. So we have the Rust-Oleum, uh, just the ultra matte. Um, make sure it bonds to plastic. That's all that really matters. It's the biggest deal. Alright, so um, I got a phone call in the middle of that, so I missed a lot of footage, but uh, here's where we're at now. Um, has a pretty generous base, first, second, and probably third coat on there. We more focused on um, the sides, didn't focus on the top as much as far as getting it perfect, just because you know, no one sees up there. What they're going to be seeing is about right there. This far side over here is a little more dry. It's a little more, more realistic to what it will actually look like. It's going to look good. It's going to look real nice. All right. Off to the hardware store to get some more paint. Let's go, Nate. Shapers run there. We got brand new can, Rust Oleum Premium Ultra Matte, some Dad's Cream Soda, some Dad's Cream Soda, and of course we got Cock and Bowl. Awesome, but it's turning out fantastic. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's after just a few coats, and it's so we're gonna, you know, give it some more coats on to get this covered up. Um, some of these scratches in here will hit with some more. All this in here will get more. We're just going to do a few more coats. Um, anyways, I'll set you guys back up there and get a time lapse started. So, after some, uh, Creativity, we're almost finished here. <laughs> yeah, we're just waiting for it to dry up. We'll come back to you in just a few. All right, so we have it all painted up here. We were gonna do, we we're thinking about doing another coat, but uh, started to sprinkle a little bit here. I don't know if you guys can see that, yeah. So we're gonna call it off, and it's pretty damn good. I'm honestly very impressed with how it. Uh, turned out. Maybe next time we'll um, grind these scratches out, sand them out, make it look really good. But for now, we just wanted to freshen it up, give it a nice new coat of paint. We're going to take this uh, tape off these windows here and uh, see how it looks and then throw it up there. We got all the tape off the windows here you can see uh, how good this actually looks it's a really really clean paint job 
And you know, this took what? I say this took Nate. Shit, probably took like. I mean, without drying, like what? 30 minutes, 20, 30 minutes? Yeah, 20, 30 minutes of work. Probably three hours total once you're all said and done, went to the store and everything. You know, totally, totally will change the look of uh, your Jeep. All right, so you got this thing all painted up here, all ready to go back on the uh, Jeep here. I'm gonna put my phone on my car here. All right, for $30 in the afternoon, this is not too bad. We'll totally change up that look of your car. We'll put the before pictures up as well, right here. I don't, I don't think you can complain about that. Sweet, so uh, last second here, we decided we're gonna paint these trim rings that go around the lights here I'm gonna black them out same color as the hard top figured you know we have the we have the paint we have the time might as well it's just uh three of these torx bits i'm not sure what size torx it is like 10 or 15. anyway keep you updated on that as well Looks like Nate just got these things gooched up. They're finally black. It looks a lot better. No chrome. No one likes chrome. <laughs> Sweet, Nate.